Welcome to my first Vlogmas! Have you tried the garlic butter green beans? It comes with the actual garlic chunks in it, so it's ready to saute. My first time trying it, I found it at my local Walmart. And I'm also gonna make these chicken breast strips. These are the fajita style chicken, but I'm gonna season them down. Um, not making fajitas, but um, you can see the chunks of chicken. You can also find these at Walmart, Fred Meyer, Safeway, Target. I believe they're at Target. Um, but yeah, this is part of what I'm making for lunch for today as I get back on track after our 14 day road trip, eating fast food, eating out, trying to make some healthy meals and quick meals. So this is what I'm making today. And y'all know if it takes longer than 30 minutes, I'm not doing it. I burnt my green beans my four dollar 19 cent a bag green beans they said to cook them on high <sighs> and it wasn't even a full eight minutes and I put grapeseed oil in the pan before I started cooking just so it didn't stick I had to pick this out to salvage what I could but I got to call into the husband to bring me another bag <laughs> okay so this is my fajita chicken that I showed you in the earlier clip. These are the seasonings that I'm using. The Creole seasoning. I'm going to use one chicken bouillon cube just to bring more chicken flavor because it's already seasoned fajita and I want to kind of down that. Onion powder, garlic powder, and I put a little bit of grapeseed oil um, into the chicken and I will let you see what it looks like once it is done. Okay, so this is my chicken that I showed you earlier that I'm cooking. It already has a fajita seasoning over it, um, but I'm going to down that flavor and use some uh, Creole seasoning. I'm going to use one chicken bouillon cube to bring out more of a chicken flavor and take down some of that fajita seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and some a little bit of grapeseed oil um, so we don't have no sticking issues like we did with the green beans. I'll let you see what it looks like when it's done. So I showed you my green beans that I burnt in the sink that I had to kind of try to salvage. This is what I was able to salvage. Salvage. This is literally enough for one serving, maybe two. But I love green beans and I love garlic. So I could eat these literally by myself. So hopefully hubby gets here in time to bring a new bag. But he's out working in his business. So we may just have to make two. I have decided to go ahead and add broccoli. That's cooking. Um, I'm doing gravy. One thing I cannot make is gravy from scratch. I've tried and tried. I just don't have the skill. This is the chicken breast strips that, um, that's cooking the fajita. They come in just regular, but this is what I had in the freezer. And then this is the new skillets. Um, I don't know how new or old these are. I just seen another YouTuber, uh, making them and I was like, green beans, garlic, that is me. Give me some now. And my husband happened to be at the grocery store. So I called him and was like, add this to the list. Um, these are $4.19 a bag in my area. And I think he got them from Fred Meyer, which is the equivalent to Kroger. For those of you that don't have Fred Meyer in your area. Um, and these are the beans that I burnt. But they did say cook on high. So it's not my fault, right? But we're going to work with what we got. I also did make some mashed potatoes. All right, this is how I make my broccoli taste good every time. So I've already put the butter in there, but it melted because it was hot. Um, I'm going to do some minced garlic. This bell pepper is going to actually go in my chicken. I'm going to do some seasoning, garlic powder, onion powder, and the Creole seasoning that I used in the chicken. And stir it up. I'm going to put a little bit of water in it, like maybe two. As promised, this is what the chicken looks like after with the bell peppers. And I've already fixed plates. And this is my youngest plate. 
it's in a plastic container because she does not want to eat right now but to be honest we're all eating out of plastic containers and here's why so we just got back from a 14 day road trip um our family of four and we need to go to the grocery store we don't even have paper plates and we don't use real dishes around here unless we have to <laughs> so that is why we're eating out of plastic containers but this is going to get sealed up and then i have one for my husband as well because he's out working and um yeah this is it this is the finished product so this is the fajita chicken and it tastes so good i put the top on it and let it simmer and here is the finished product i'm gonna top it off with some jalapenos and i put